was hanging out with us, which is totally creepy and weird. And um, he was a drummer, and Sarah and I, we had our band. It was a Sarah and I, but we were in a band. We were a band. And, um, and, and Clint invited us over to his house to jam, which I think was just like code for sex. Jam. 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 So we get there, and the jam space is his bedroom. Of course. And, uh, and it's basically like a dresser, a drum kit, and a water bed. <laughs> and so Sarah and I sat on the water bed and played guitar, and then Clint took his shirt off and fucking rocked out like bad. He wasn't a good drummer. And killed it on the drum kit, and we just like plugged our electric guitars and then sang over top of the drums and the electric guitar. What do you think about that? That's great. <laughs> Did I creep you out? No, really, no. I want to... Uh, my story's gonna take two. Really? You don't want to summarize it? Huh? You can tell. I once tried to, uh, I once was enlisted to try and write songs for this band who was struggling to finish their record. Oh yeah. And I got paired up with the guy who wrote, uh, the guy from Len who wrote Steal My Sunshine. Oh yeah, I like that one. That was weird. Was it, like, did you guys sit on a waterbed together with your shirts off? <laughs> no. That would have been funny, though. Well, you, songs would have been your guy was the one guy who bought a waterbed before everybody was like, that's the worst idea. Um, I had a waterbed till I was... They're very seven. uncomfortable. I went right to a futon. <laughs> crib into the futon. Really? Crib into a double waterbed. Well, you're cooler. That's what you did in the West Coast. I Do you know, it's like, most people are laughing because they're like 15, so they don't even know what a waterbed is. They're like, oh, a waterbed! Just kidding. Do you, do you guys remember waterbeds? Thank you.